name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers and today I'm going to be showing you uh, some tricks and tips on this is Baby and she's a two-year-old Shih Tzu Bichon Cross. She's super cute and I've decided that we're going to work on a project with color so we're doing something for Valentine's Day so I wanted to break it down for you guys and I'm going to show you how we're going to create an artistic piece. So here we have little baby in the bathtub. She's really good now. When she was a, like a little puppy, she was kind of bratty, but she's become a super good little girl. I always want to use a really good quality shampoo. I really like the Emu Oil by, by Wall. That's what I'm using today. It's one of my personal favorites. I love it. Super important that you get them really good and clean. I always recommend at least two good washes in a light condition. We're back with little baby here, and she's had a bath and a fluff, a little bit of a fluff. Today, I'm going to be using some of Old Paws Adorable Pink. I love this color. It is, I'm obsessed with it. It's such a nice color, and I really like the Old Paws product a lot. Um, this is how they recommend you do it. You want to make sure the hair is clean. So I got a little color brush. Be prepared. Pro tip. Get your color out. Get your things ready for you before you start your program. And this is just an old towel that I can just throw out after I'm finished. So I want to just do her little boots on her and you just want to lightly put the color on and you want to make sure you're getting down to the skin when you're doing this so this takes a tiny little bit of practice make sure you're wearing a rubber glove or you will be bright pink for a while and then once you have the color applied what i like to do is just put on a little tiny bit of tin foil like a little boot, leave it on for 40 minutes, and then you're gonna rinse it. And we'll come back after we've done that process. This little baby with her adorable pink boots on. Now remember, we're getting her ready for a Valentine's Day contest. So I always love to do designs. I have a blast. You can't expect to make money doing this, you guys. This is really for your own fun and just so you can be better as an artist and be creative. I love to do tattoo. Uh, a couple of things when you're first starting, if you guys just invest in some good plastic stencils, amazing. I'm not saying you shouldn't push yourself later on to do more difficult tattoos and designs, but when you're first starting out, these are really, really great. Make sure you get something that's a little bit uh, tougher plastic. You can usually get them at Michael's, sometimes Walmart, sometimes at the dollar store. So look around for them. I want to use the Chubby Heart because it's Valentine's Day. So we're just going to look at the placements. So you have to look at where it's going to look the best and you need to fit it. One place that's really nice is on the thigh or straight down the back. There she is, back with her little pink boots on. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the design. I really hope you guys have the patience to give this a try. It's going to take patience and it's going to take practice. So just prepare yourself. Get yourself a little stencil. Stencils are so awesome when you're first starting. Placement is key. So you want to put it either, I find like on the spine, straight on the spine is nice, uh, on the hip, on the shoulder. You want to be careful as to placement and you'll learn that kind of as you go. So you want to set your stencil down on the hair. I like to comb up the hair around it. Sometimes you need two people to do this. Okay, and then you're just going to take your stencil and I'm going to go around that stencil with my curved scissors and start to cut that in. Now you definitely want to go slow and steady when you are doing this and prepare yourself. It takes time and it takes practice. I've made tons and tons of mistakes. Uh, I'm going to come back in a few minutes once I get this card on her and you guys can have a look at it. So this is a baby's pattern and we've started putting it on her. Now remember, we're setting this up for a contest in two and a half, three weeks. So we want to start right now. And how I went about that is I used the stencil and I carved it in. You've got to go really slow and steady. If you can do this with a friend, it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier if you can get somebody to help you hold the stencil on. So once you have the stencil on, you're gonna just take your little curved scissors and you go around the shape. Then I went back with my little T-bar clipper from Wall 
and it's called a hero and I just fine edged everything in. Then after that, I just went back with my pair of scissors and put a round on it. So in another couple weeks, that's gonna look great. It's already started. The whole key is you wanna get the definition and the height on it. So, so I could get a little bit more height on it, I went around it and I etched it in with a seven blade just to make it shorter so I got more definition on the actual design. So the other thing I wanted to do with her is to uh, put her face into a little mohawk. Oh, and maybe you guys could do me a little favor and I'm just trying to decide whether I should color the bottoms of her ears or not. So maybe you guys can give me some input on that. I would love to hear what you're gonna say. And then bring her back in a couple weeks from now and we're gonna do some more designs on her. I really like her little round face, but she looks super cute when she has the little faux hawk. So I'm gonna just start putting that in today. And it's pretty easy. Um, actually, you're just gonna take your pair of scissors and you're just gonna go in and you wanna point everything into the middle. She doesn't have quite enough on the top of her head at the moment, but she grows hair like crazy this girl. So this is what we're gonna see in a couple of weeks, what she looks like. And the other thing I do when I'm doing that faux hawk is I want to point it just slightly over the eyes so it's coming forward. So I certainly hope you guys are enjoying all these tricks and tips. I hope that you guys will share and like and subscribe. Have a great day and we'll be back soon.